Good evening, donors, coaches, fellow student athletes, teammates, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a privilege to be standing here tonight. Throughout the years, I've been asked the most random questions. As I'm always asked where I'm from, and people look very surprised, <laughs> and I still can't figure out why, I do have an accent, I'm Italian, and yes, I'm actually from Italy. And oh yes, and I do play golf. Um, and as people ask me whether Italians go around in boats, not quite, there are roads in Italy, not the whole country, it's like Venice. <laughs> I didn't want to brag about the golf team or Coach Brooks, but please allow me to do so. The Duke women's golf team under Coach Brooks had eight players of the year and 52 All-Americans. Won 135 tournaments of which 21 ACC championships had four NCAA individual champions, and most importantly, brought home six NCAA championships. Sorry, but... <laughs> Just wanted to point out one more than men's basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you might be wondering how old Coach Brooks is. Well, he is pretty old, yeah. <laughs> What a journey it has been. Through ups and downs, Duke has given me so much. More than a team and a bunch of professors, it has given me the opportunity to understand who I really am, what I really love, and what I want to become. I've always heard about the Duke family, but never really understood what it was about before coming to college. Now I really understand what it is. We are all, and I really mean all of us, working towards ambitious goals, knowing that we have each other's backs. Even my loud women's across and field hockey neighbors have my back. <laughs> I'm standing here tonight after three years of ups and downs where I was fortunate enough to touch the very top and the very bottom, but I never lost sight of what it meant to be at Duke. I had a typical freshman year. My freshman fall, I think I averaged four hours of sleep. I was always studying and getting lost around campus and off campus. I found myself on a bridge over a highway with the sign Duke University, two miles. Um, <laughs> because of my decision to study environmental sciences and policy, most of my classes, unlike my friends who were either on his campus or in the main quad, were in Environment Hall, now Granger Hall. That for the ones of you who don't know where that is, it's as far from his campus as Chapel Hill is. And <laughs> I discovered only in the spring, after walking a whole semester, that there was a bus that would have taken me from East Campus a hundred yards away from my destination. And that would have saved me a hike. Uh, but sometimes I'm glad I had to hike daily to go to class, as in only four months I gained 25 pounds. And I was told it was only supposed to be freshman 15. <laughs> so, so I can only imagine what it would have been without such a daily hike. I really loved eating cookies and frozen yogurt, both not really a thing in Italy. My teammates thought I was about to explode, and my mom told me I looked like a balloon, and she also put the balloon emoji in the text. <laughs> Freshman spring, and don't worry, I won't tell you every semester of my three years and a half, <laughs> was more uneventful. I had a stress fracture in my leg and I worked really hard on the golf course because my game was right there but every tournament something was not clicking. I remember in April looking at the five freshman picks between who the Women's Golf Coaches Association would have picked freshman of the year and not being on that list. We still had one tournament to play and it happened to be nationals. I didn't think I deserved to be in that list but I wanted to give myself a last chance. And so I won nationals that week, breaking NCAA records for lowest score after three rounds, 13 under, after four rounds with 16 under. Oh, thank you. Thanks. And also for greatest margin of victory, winning by eight strokes. I would have never won nationals if I didn't have the support of many of you, including Uncle George Shutt and Mike Gordon. It has been a gift having you in my life and many more Duke alumni who have been supporting me in my Duke career. Without you in my life, my time here would have not been the same. Winning nationals as a freshman was like living a dream and I still have chills thinking about it. I never realized how cool it actually was to be an NCAA champion until Lydia Ko, one of the best professional players who is now only 21, was first in the professional ranking at the age of 17 
won a first major at 18 and a second one at 19, approached me during an LPGA tournament and told me, Virginia, I will, be nev I will never be able to say that I went to Duke University and that I won nationals. My sophomore and junior years made me realize that playing at Duke was such a privilege and I can do that because of the help of each one of you. But I also started asking myself, what could I do to help somebody? What could I do to be somewhat like you? And what could we do as a team to make an impact in this community? That is how, with the help of faculty member, role model, <coughs> and mentor, George Grody, the Bird is for Babies fundraiser started last January, raising more than $17,000 for the neonatal and pediatric intensive care units of the Children's Hospital. We are really proud of this achievement. We know that we need to raise more, and I hope this will be everyone's heredity once I leave, and it will be a legacy that will live on. My life has been an organized chaos, and I think John, our assistant coach, wouldn't really agree with the organized part of it. Um, but what I really mean is that I love planning ahead. And by doing that, I was able to secure an internship with the United Nations. The summer spent in Geneva was, as an intern will be one I will never forget and taught me a lot about life. I was fortunate enough to be there because of the excellence of Duke. Being part of the Duke family means something else too. Other than having John trying to organize my life in Locker, um, after too much studying and after being shortlisted three times and after three interviews, I found myself in a plane in November heading to Oxford University for the final of the Ro Global Road Scholarship. 11 students from all over the world for only two spots. I didn't get the roads, but what I experienced will def definitely last a lifetime. Throughout the entire roads process, I firmly realized that the only reason I was there was because of the academic excellence and support that Duke provides. And I can't thank you all enough for this opportunity. During my time at Duke, I also had to fight through some painful times. My longtime friend, Celia Barkin, was recently was, was recently murdered in Iowa. Celia's death was so sudden and horrifying that it's difficult to speak about it. Something like this changes your perspective about life. It makes you think about how many things you've taken for granted. It makes you think about how many times you heard your friends but never really listened to them. It makes you think about how privileged you are to be a Duke and how much you take it for granted. Even if I'm young and I definitely have to learn much more about life, this tragic event pushed me to be an, ev an even better teammate, an even better friend, and an even better student, and a better version of myself. And this additional work has surely influenced my life and was definitely a part behind my winning a tournament in the fall. What I've learned through my freshman success, my two hard years filled with injuries, sicknesses, and empathy, and my friend's death is that you don't have to wait for failure to make an impact or for someone else's definition of success. You don't have to wait for a specific occasion to realize how thankful we should all be to be at Duke. And definitely, we should never take for granted what all of you sitting here tonight have done for us. You have made it possible for me to be here and live a dream as a student athlete at Duke University. Although I really hope to be playing professionally in five months from now, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing, um, but what I know is that I will be forever part of the best family in the world, the Duke family. Thank you.